Hello and welcome to 420 Grams on NewsClick. We are joined here in the studio with Arjun Pandit and joining us from Retro Cafe is Zenidi Singh and from Australia yeah. is Siddhan Thani. We are going to round up the I-League season today. Chennai City are champions, they have romped to the title, scored the most goals, played the most exciting football despite having almost gotten relegated last season. Let's take it from the top. Arjun. See, I'll tell you what, look, uh, uh, there are many uh, positives for Chennai City FC and we'll of course talk about it. Renedi has commentated on all their games, so he will of course give us a better insight into that. But my only point is, the fact that in the last three seasons you've had three first-time champions and two teams who were almost relegated the season before that, it tells you also about the quality of football on display. Let's not take anything away from the I-League that the fact that this league has gone to the last uh, day or the last round of fixtures, that tells you about the level playing field. But let that not take you away from the fact that the quality of football has just not been that great. But as far as Chennai City FC, Renati Bhai, 48 goals in this season. Matlab, commentating karne mein bahut maza aara to see all that attacking football? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but see, Chennai for me, they deserve to win. From the first match, the game they have played, the, the matches they have played, the style of football, the philosophy, it's been the best. East Bengal did well, no doubt, but East Bengal did well in, did well in patches. But East Bengal, I'm sure they are, wherever they are, they are second in the league. I think they deserve to be on second in the league. But for me, Chennai, by far, the best team in the league and, and I'm happy that they, they won the league. Somewhere or the other, Siddhant, would you also agree that this uh, Spanish philosophy, man, I mean, you know, we always brought in foreigners, African players, but over the last few years, we've seen just Spanish players and the fulcrum being four or five Spanish players who have that philosophy of football. I think it suits the Indian players who are supporting them, keeping the ball on the ground and it suits our characteristics and our style. I think if you sort of exclude Minerva Punjab and their, the way sort of they played, which was a quite defensive, uh, direct style of football that they were looking at in the way that they won the game. But other than that, definitely I think the Spanish way of playing, uh, you look at Aizol FC and like the highly technically skilled and uh, quick uh, boys in that sport, playing in that tight ground, uh, very similar to what we've seen at some of these clubs that have been able to do well in the league. And uh, I think the Chennai boys, even the guys like Susai Raj, who were with the team last season, moved on to the ISL. Uh, they, there was a strong focus on how they played with the ball, and what they did with the ball, uh, and how they developed the game. Whether they won or lost was sort of secondary. And Akbar Nawaz came out and said this at the beginning of the season that, like, we are out there style of football that, that is attractive, that will bring the fans into the stadium. And uh, I don't know whether like it's ideal for Indian boys to be playing the way they like in Spain or not. But in terms of an advertisement for the I League and, and what an I League champion club should be playing like, I think it's fantastic that we've seen like 48 goals in 20 games, two and a half of the game almost. But by 40 of those goals were by Spanish yeah. players, huh? So only eight of, I mean, 40 of those goals were scored by Spanish players. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, Chennai City's foreigners, four foreigners, along with that attacking, three attacking players and Eslava, they have, the, they have signed the best foreigner without any doubt. But the Indian players who are playing alongside them is also, have, they have also performed the best. It's not only the foreigners. Yes, foreigners make a difference. But at the same time, if you see Gaurav Bora, the young guy, yeah. defender, playing along with Aslava, he has performed at his best. Of course, this is just a start. He will play much, much better. But Indian players, in, in Chennai City players also, they are no less. They have given their best. And I think if they can keep, I don't know how long they can keep them. I'm sure there are a lot of ISL teams are waiting for those guys. But if they can keep for next year, I think Chennai City again, it, it, they will do well. And a lot of credit should go to the coach, of course, no doubt, the foreigners. But then credit should go to the coach also. So For the way of perfect. football they have played. That's perfect that Renity is bringing up the point that I don't know how long they will last because ne there will be ISL teams looking in. Hmm. So with this very swampy ground that the I-League and the next season is in, how sustainable is what Chennai City are doing? I mean, they've also tied up with FC Basel. 
they've got this setup which they say is going to be a system that they're going to yeah, grow. Speaking, see, until we don't know what is the way forward, right? Abhi tak jo bhi baate ho rahi hai, hawa mein ho rahi hai ki ye hoga, wo hoga. Jab tak you don't know what is the way forward, you can't really say how sustainable is Chennai city. I feel from the Chennai city victory, it's opened an avenue for us. Ki we, whenever we're looking for foreign coaches, na, ham jaate hain Europe, ham jaate hain South America. And the thing is, the European and the South American coach is used to the kind of players he has over there. So when he comes here, he doesn't have the same characteristics in the players that he sees here. But now we've realized that there's a Singapore, yeah? Southeast Asian coaches, highly qualified Southeast Asian coaches who understand the characteristics of yeah. Indian players because our characteristics are closer to what the Southeast Asian players yeah. are. And as a result, you know, you can see the way the boys bought into his philosophy. And full credit, Renity Bhai, to him, you know, it's not just 48 goals this season. In 2016, when he was with Tampine Rover or Tampine Rover, their team scored uh, 52 goals. Yes. 52 goals. So it's not just a, you know, one tukka lag gaya ek season mein jaan 48 goal maar diye. It's his philosophy yeah. and the boys mm -hmm. buying into it, that. It, it is. Yeah, I, I totally agree with Pandit because it is his philosophy. It's not only one match. It's not only two match. It, it's the whole league except the last two match before the final match. I think they fumbled. But before that, you know, by far they have been dominating the whole whole game, you know, every, every time they play. So, this is not just by fluke. That's why I'm saying they deserve to win for the game they have played. It's such beautiful to watch. It's a little risky at the back, but it, uh, the players did well. Can I, can I ask one question to Siddhant, who's been championing the cause of I-League, and yeah. rightly so, and I'm not saying anything against that. But the point being, by uh, the fact that you're having these first-time winners coming and winning the league in the last three seasons, does that tell you a bit about the quality of football on display? Well, I mean, it's I suppose it's a uh, complex answer, yeah, Pandit, because a, a lot of times what happens is that the top players from the I League, because they're doing well at their level, there are clubs that come in and pick them up. I mean, ISL clubs are picking up a lot of players from the I League, the best players. So for for a club run on a tight budget, it's very hard to maintain, like Renity was saying earlier, to keep uh, the fulcrum or the core of a squad together. When there's interest from bigger clubs which have far larger budgets, it's, it's not really a realistic proposition. And also, clubs are also looking to cash in on the sort of local talent that they nurture through the system. It's, it's, it's a very important part of the whole uh, system which allows clubs to become sustainable in, in the longer term. If you have an academy and you're looking at local players from Tamil Nadu, for example, that you're bringing into the system and they're doing such a phenomenal job. I mean... If you look at Indian football team, uh, historically, the national team, there has been a strong component of players coming in. And now when we think of football in the South, we only think of Kerala. But Tamil Nadu has a very strong football culture. And it's great to see that that is getting revived because this club exists. And it also is similar to what is happening with I-League clubs in other parts of the country, whether it's Kashmir or... Uh, in, in Imphal, where uh, Renny Bhai is sitting right now, uh, with Puka and other clubs, Atul Band, technical director. Uh, so, you know, it feeds into a larger football ecosystem, I think, and that's what makes the I-League so critical to how Indian football's future is uh, going to be. And uh, the, the yeah, also, I will. Randy, I mean, sorry, Pandit, just taking on from the point you made about Southeast Asian coaches, I want to bring Renity in here because I also think that this presents a reverse opportunity for Indian coaches to potentially explore the chance to take their skills and, and talent and go to Southeast Asia and take a chance there with, with clubs in Singapore or, or other countries in Southeast Asia. That, that, that's why I think for, for Renity, at least, he has to prove in a domestic first. That's why I, I took uh, yeah I took Sagolban United coming out, coming out from the comfort zone. In ISL, being an assistant coach, you are getting money on time and you don't have to worry much. Worrying would be on the head coach. But I have realized that two years after working, I will go down and work with Sagolman United and, and, and uh, teams from Northeast so that I, if I do make mistake, I make mistake with my own philosophy and so that I learn. So like uh, Pandit said, uh, you know, it's really nice to see Asian coaches doing well. Singapore is very close to, to, to India. And then, and when Singapore coaches can do well, you know, we see even in uh, in Indian coaches, Mahesh and Pinto doing well, uh, and our under 16 doing well, you know, Viviano. So, and now let's see what today tonight we have a match. Uh, let's see what uh, our under 23, you know, can do, you know. So, 
So I, as long as you know the Asian, we we should have faith in ourselves. And the young coaches, there are, there are a lot of young coaches who are working hard to be to be in that in that best position. But it will take some time. But for sure, you know we are in a, in the right in a, in the right uh, path. So I'm going to interrupt this normal broadcast to bring in a 420 grams exclusive. Renidi Singh, do you have something to tell us? An exclusive as to where you are coaching next? Uh, brother, in, in, in today or, or tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a great yeah, exclusive. It, it, Thank you. I mean, see now, see, <laughs> honestly, I, I, I got an offer from uh, from Neroka, so we we still have to sign a, a contract. Once a contract signs, and I'll be ready. So th this is where you know, yeah, I'm telling you. So let's see. It it will be a big challenge for me to be to be a coach in super cup that, that's going to be a big challenge and it's tournament anything can happen i'm going to play uh, the, the best teams you know the best organized team all the isl uh, teams are really really organized tactically so we, we we i have to come up in a very less time i have to come up you know uh, neroka this year even though they are playing good football they haven't got the result mm. so can in I, 10 days i, I, that, I have like, to see this, what this, i can do this news you've given us of you coaching neroka na irrespective of, i honestly feel whether you win or lose i'm not even looking at that yeah. just the fact that yeah. renidi singh and the legend that is renidi singh is now yeah. coaching in top flight of indian football i think that should be celebrated yes. and we hope that hap continues with the likes of ishwak ahmed with the mehrajuddin yes. with the mahesh gauli yeah. because that in turn because yeah. you guys know the system inside out you guys know how players feel yeah. inside out so a player will buy into your yeah. philosophy much easier than koi gora aa raha hai bahar se keh raha hai ki aise karo waise karo Yeah, brother. The, I I feel that you know we 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 need to prove, and this is my best platform. Like you said, win or lose, you know that's a different thing. But I am hundred percent sure. But our guys, once I join in, my boys will give hundred percent. That's for sure. It will not. You know that's the thing I always ask for. The work. So and we have now few coaches like even Clifford is doing with uh, reserve uh, Goa reserve doing really well. I think he is he is one guy who will be a uh, uh, who will be a very good coach someday. Clifford Miranda. Yeah. For sure, intelligent as a player. Uh, yeah, really, as, really as, intelligent yeah, as, as a player, and I think he's also he's already picked up a pro license, I believe. Yeah, he he is doing it soon or the on. second uh, phase, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but this guy, he is sensible. I feel that Clifford, you know, along with Samir, but Clifford, yeah, I feel he will do really well. Yeah, you kind of get a sense. Whenever you've seen Clifford play, he's very receptive to Armando in that Dempio team. He was very receptive to Armando yeah. and the way what he wanted him to do. That tells you about his thinking. And then he have, ball. yeah, and he have he have he have worked under many coaches, you know, Arthur Papas, and then you know now, even he is working closely with uh with our under twenty three coach. Derek. Uh, Derek. So, Derek. Yeah. So I and and Derek uh, has got a high regards for for Clifford, and we were there in A license together, and I could see that you know even along with Arata is the one. So uh, Mehrazuddin has just got through. Iswag has got through. There are mm. many young ones coming. Uh, it's going. We we are we are competing in our level. So let's see who uh, who do well. You know. So it will be a nice one. The young coaches yeah. are working hard to do well. Yes. And uh, it will Mehraz also be great to see like your so whole well. generation of. Sorry, go on. Sorry, go on. Yeah, Mehraz did uh, so well with the under 18, reaching the final of the I League. So you know that we working hard. And let's see. It will also be great to see you bunch of like former teammates coming. Uh, Coming together, sort of uh, in competition with each other as as coaches yes. of the team, and uh, start the whole whole thing again. I I just very quickly, ready, want to just say, uh, I hope this Neroka story works out, and like if it does, like kudos to the structure of football in the northeast, which is sort of allowing you to go, you know, from Sagolban, theoretically yeah. a competitive club, yeah. into Neroka, yeah. and. You know, there <laughs> seems to be an environment of sharing resources and experience and expertise, which yeah. in the long run will really help in the development of the sport in the region. So, if Mocha and everyone is on board with this process, I think yeah. like a, a really kudos to all you guys see, for being. Yeah, able to put it see in. now ha having having a club from North East, it has helped many players as well as young coaches like us. So, if if Maharaj one day come wants to come, or Kashmir is doing well. You know, because yeah. we uh, beat Neroka uh, two days back, and and so we, with all this, you know, before what happened was when we were young, only East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, Dempo to some extent, and Churchill. So where do the mm. coaches go? Where do the player go? Now we all have got uh, in, in the nearest place. So there are many players, uh, young players who are from here. 
if they can't go to East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, if it's too big, they can they can try here and, and test themselves. So this is a good platform for the players and for the new coaches, I believe. Okay, so if you guys uh, if you guys are watching this and if this has worked out for Neroka, I just want to point out that you heard it here first. Okay, and we are going to have exclusive everything to Neroka from now on. <laughs> everything. So I'm going to move on from young coaches to young players, and that's a very smooth transition because now we can just talk about about Indian arrows. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. No, in Indian Super. arrows. They're man. playing I mean, tonight. In for fact. me, for me, that Pretty I know much. everyone's saying Chennai city and all, but if you just purely just be selfish and say development of Indian football, that for me is the story <laughs> of the league. Yeah. Uh, in the three years that this team, the under-17 team has been put together. I know Indian Arrows were theirs before that. But in the journey of this team, this is their best ever finish. They finished 8th. Yeah. So 8th must still be applauded. They've got the maximum number of points, 21 points. Last season they got 15. But the only problem is they're still conceding a lot of goals. However, yeah. if you look at the goals they've conceded, na, a majority of those goals have come courtesy play with the foreigners in the other teams. Hmm. So Randy, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, if you foreigners foreigners from all the other teams, this is Indian Arrows ki team, hai, Top three ke like hai pakka. Do you agree or not? Brother, I, 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 I agree with you because it's very difficult you know, to play without the foreigner. But they still fought and, and got the results. Uh, they, they haven't started well, honestly. But the, as the game progressed, uh, they have improved a lot. And the last match, if you see, the way they have played against Mohan Bagan with all those high-profile high foreigners in the I-League, they, they, in Salt Lake, they, they they did whatever they wanted to. And there was no answer from Mohan Bagan players. I was doing commentary on that. But I think they have done quite well. And and, uh, and uh, this guy, goes credit should go to Mahesh Gowli and, and Pinto. For, of course, yes. But then the the thing is, will they be able to hold on to those players for long? And that's a big question. So again, actually, that's the big question. Because from what I understand, several of the players were on loan will leave for ISL clubs yeah. and have also now gotten contracts with ISL teams yeah. Boris Boris is with ATK then Amarjeet has gone to Jamshedpur Anwar Ali has gone to Pur. Mumbai city then uh, uh, Jadav has gone to uh, Jamshedpur there were five players at Chennaiyan so you know the big question is so the big question is uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you but yeah. the question also is like they will go to these ISL teams but how much game time will they get in these ISL teams. Yeah, I, I honestly think it could hamper their development. Yeah. At the end of the day, you might be going to a bigger league where there's more competition and you know the, the cream of Indian players is playing there. But I still feel it could hamper their development. But there's a different situation here. If you get so much money, and as a player, at the end of the day, as a professional player, if you get 10 times or 20 times that amount, de hai, then you will go yaar, at the end of the day. Matlab, aap kab tak aap ke ki main development phase mein You've worked hard to get to a point where a big club is coming to you and saying, look, I'm offering you dollops of cash. Hmm. So you, you won't think about the development phase. You'll say, okay, let's sign. So actually, let me throw this to Ishfaq and bring him in. We've spoken to him earlier about uh, how and how whether young players who are leaving for the ISL, what it means for them and what it means for their development. So let's hear from him for a, first. Hi, guys. Uh, I think the idea behind having arrows was like to give them opportunity, provide them more game time, and I think uh, they have done really good and rightly so. Some of them have signed with the big clubs. Um, regarding uh, if they will go to the other clubs, see, this is where now they have to prove themselves. And a better decision to make whether to pick the money or to go in that team where they will feel that they will get the chance. So this is between them and their agents. I hope they will pick the right teams. And... Um, uh, in, in in football life, like once you are that 18, 19 and playing good, for everyone there has, you know, like uh, it came in me, uh, my life, I am sure Renny Dibai will tell you the same, where they have to make a decision which club to go. Because beyond that, I don't think arrows will going to keep them and this is now right time for to go to the biggest stage and perform there. Whether they will get the game chance there or uh, game time there or not, that is up to the coach and the management and the players uh, how to work hard to earn that place. Nobody will just give them that place. So actually now, I want to just put Renity in the uncomfortable spot of uh, decoding this for us. When it comes to young players, 
they are going to the ISL, getting lesser game time but more money. As a young, when you were a young player, if you had this opportunity, how would you? Like, कितना difference है पैसे में? हाँ. ये भी बताओ. Also, please. Yeah. See, the the problem is where we we had only one league, right? Those days, and I was lucky as a 17, 18 year old to get straight into Mohan Bagan, uh, and and there were less foreigners those days. Only two or three were playing, not five. So so we we still have chance. Yeah. Huh. Two plus one. So it it was good for me. You know, I straight into Mohan Bagan and I played six years, six years, twelve years. But now there is not two days, five players playing. So whoever coming in now, will they get a chance if they are not side back or wingers? If they are in that, if they are the core, yeah. In the the the, the spine, it, it will be very very difficult. Strikers, how many stri- Indian strikers going to get a chance? How many defensive midfielder going to get a chance? Or how many stopper going to get a chance? So the the that I can understand the the players, the 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 young players, they have been offered very good money. How much? How much, Randy? Boy, okay. how much money? I have fifty, sixty lakhs. I'm sure so some players 50, 60 they, they have been offered. And how much are they getting paid right now? Fifty, sixty lakh, approx, approx, and uh, uh, there must be uh, not even a lakh. Maybe so, it's five uh, times 50, 60, more. Yeah. Fifty, sixty thousand, approx, uh, approx. So you're 60, saying you're 000. saying right now they are approximately earning about ten lakhs, and someone's offering you sixty yeah. lakhs in the ISL. So, so that's sixty yeah. lakhs. So for a player, as a as a human being, you want to earn more, right? The players when you're sixty lakhs, when you're earning ten lakhs here, and sixty lakhs has been offering. For sure, I may say that, or oh, they should stay for one more year and stuff. But as a player, you want that money also. Many people may say that, "Are why people players is going for the money, and you know he should stay one more year." But it's it all said and done, it's very difficult one. Yeah. I, I, and but, but I'm sure, they, and they must be thinking that oh, they have done well in the I League, right? So they will be thinking, "Oh yeah, uh, if I have done well in the I League, why not? I can do there also." So the, the, if ten players go, one or two will do well, but the rest it will be very very difficult. And look at all the foreigners, you know, in in Goa. Look at all the foreigners, the central midfielder. They are playing. Where on earth they are going to get a chance? I'm not saying never say never, but it will take time. But at this point of time, if they don't get a game time, they they are, they were finished. Yeah. They are yeah, finished. it's always a. But then, but the the question the the question is the game time or the money. So you have to balance it up, and how do we balance it up? It's a big question, actually. So actually, Siddharth, like, since you I are such a huge I fan of the administrative side of Indian football, and you since you always love supporting them, I'm gonna now put you in the situation of saying, "Ki can they do something? Can they help out in this situation? Is it is there something for no, them no, no. to no, think no. about?" So, so this is one of those things where, like, I am on the side of the guys who are doing the administration because having the app in the game is is a huge plus. And there are a few things that come in. And one is that if you have a developmental squad, it's also essential that the people or the the uh, the workforce in that squad keeps getting rotated on a regular basis, so that new blood keeps coming in. You can't expect uh, the whole sort of idea of this team is to keep it an under 21, under 22, right? So year on year, you will have two batches of players coming in, and I think I think. The development in terms of at least the technical ability of Indian players is is very rapid now. So year on year, the basic fundamental technical skills that the players come in with change. Now, uh, you look at a guy like uh, not my favorite player from the under 17 World Cup squad, but a guy like Komal at ATK. I think he's got quite a few games at ATK this season. Uh, you look like you look uh, at a kid no. like Nawaz. For Dhiraj in goal, they have been regular for their ISL clubs. I feel like Amarjeet, for example, in the centre, he's developed physically a hell of a lot. So he's now looking like a man instead of a boy that he was. Maybe second string, maybe as a substitute, he'll get a chance to develop. I don't know. I would defer to Renidi's experience and knowledge of these things uh, for sure because he knows it. Much better than any of us do, uh, but I think players need to, and their agents and their families and those who are advising them need to consider these sort of offers very carefully before they get into it. Like, would I go to a club like Jamshedpur? Yes. Would I go to Goa? Maybe not. You know. So, and a, and a kid like so, Aniket Jadhav playing as a striker. No, he a won't play as a striker. Uh, bhai, he will play as a striker. 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 He will play as a
So for him to spend three months at Blackburn Rovers preparing for next season might physically put him in position to be able to compete against some of the guys who will be playing for his position. You know, so I like that there's thought going into uh, the whole process at every step of the way. I know that some of these things are more PR driven than anything else and all that. But still, the fact is that if this kid goes and plays at Blackburn or spends three months at Blackburn at the training camp, he will come back physically stronger, hopefully, inshallah. Come back physically stronger, more intelligent, more exposed to how football works at a higher level. And then be able to bring that onto the training pitch when he joins up with some Shetpur teammates. So the potential is there. And I, I, I really think, and I hope like the Arrows have a chance to because this project was started once before when these boys were uh, under Bob Houghton when the project was first started and then after the season it was or, or two because of money issues it was cut off again then re- resumed so I hope this is a project that whatever the league structure that evolves next season it's a, I hope it's a project that continues yeah uh, I what I want to say here is that you know they should continue of course I know that money but they should continue for one more year. In the meantime, in one year, there will be under-17. The under-17 who is coached by Viviano will be ready or in one or two years. So if that's a plan, it is good. So, But then the players this year, they have done well. But next year, if they can stay, it will be great for, for the Indian side because they are going to... You, you run the risk of getting yeah. stale also, na, Reni bhai. Ki aap do saal se perform kar rahe ho. Clubs are constantly yeah. knocking on your door. Till how long will you constantly yes. keep on saying and the name of development mein aapko rok raho? You run the risk of being stale yeah. also. Yeah. Ki aapka motivation level yeah, yeah. Hai fir. yeah, I know that. I know that those players wanting to get out from, from there. Because the money, because they think they can play. Of course, some of them for sure they will play. If Sunil, as an Indian striker, can play so well, some... I feel that Sunil plays uh, better football than some of the foreigner striker. Of course, they, they want to be the they want to be the next Sunil for sure. They, they must be thinking as a young guy, 19 year old, playing so well. They, why, if Sunil can play, we can also play. But yeah. Sunil has got so much of game time before he went into to ISL. You know, it has helped. So I think they need to get. But the the problem is, will they be staying back by getting those amount of less amount of money? And not going with uh, with big money to big clubs. I remember uh, I remember the first interview that we did with Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. I think it was 2014 or 15 when he had just when he was about to go abroad. I think Weber was also yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when he was going to Starbuck. He, he wrote the story. Uh, where patience, he said, was a critical element in his development process. I think uh, Randy will agree w- with this, and maybe he can make a point. Yeah, yeah. See now, brother, if you see uh, Gurpreet is Bengal, he, he was good, but he was not the best. And and uh, and he went to Norway. Norway, he couldn't save any money, and Gurpreet knows that. But just for for to to improve his game, he he stayed there for four years, I think, four or five years he stayed there. Yeah. And look where Gurpreet is, how much money he's earning. So, so whatever Sidan said right now, I agree because it's all depend on the player also. And if they are sensible enough, if they know that staying by staying here, they will improve their game, then they should. Because money will surely follow you know, as long as. But just because of 60, 70 lakhs, you went in and you don't get a chance to play. And after that, when you don't play for a year in this competitive football world, it's very difficult to come back. Okay, I'm going to pause this conversation here because I think this can go on for a while and this should go on for a while. But I think the guys who are watching it are uh, sort of drifting away. So let's get it back to a slightly more romantic story again. And I'm going to hit Ishfaq again and bring it to Real Kashmir. And he can give us a quick little review of Real Kashmir's season. And then I'll see you guys after. Hi, regarding Real Kashmir, I... I think it was very clear from the beginning only when they qualified from the second division to the first division. They said, now the the immediate thing is build a good strong team to survive in this league. Not like, this year and next year will relegate. So that was clearly in their, you know, like, uh, uh, in their plans to stay in this league, not to win this league or finish in top end or something like that. It was just, to, okay, even if we get one place above relegation, we'll be happy. So we'll build up on that and then try to make a good team for the next year. But uh, what a performance they have. 
they had in this season i think brilliant like uh, really tough to beat in home and unfortunately they had to play that last match away from their uh, home which cost which costed them actually a league for me but uh, nonetheless i think they will be happy where they finished and let's hope they will do good in super cup renedi you also commentated on several real kashmir games this season yeah. so your observations on what they've been like the real kashmir coach should get all the credit if you see the names you don't even know when was the last time they played in any any club if you see real kashmir and the player there is one uh, one player i heard he played well against he assist two goals uh, against uh, the pre guy and he didn't even get a club honestly he was yeah. not getting a club in any of the i league surchandra singh and he has scored six goals or something and six yeah. goal and he have assist a lot so imagine a player who was not getting any club in the i league went to real kashmir and then he have performed so well so then the credit should go to the coach also no for yeah. selecting him and then played almost all the match right so and they, uh, we credit we give credit to chennai city coach the the singaporean really he have done well but we shouldn't forget the real kashmir coach for what they have done with the team mm. we don't know many players from there but the way they have played also they were they are a tough team to play they came Absolutely. to manipur beat neroka fc and went back and then the way they have played against mohan bagan and the guy mm. there is one player called robertson i think that's coach son he can play yeah, in any is, position Mason. striker defender yeah. so no no and there are many players you know they all are are not great players but as a team as a they, they are great great as a unit they are great team and they have performed really well and the, i think the the fact that they conceded far less goals than any other team in the absolutely. i league absolutely they had the most clean oh, yeah. sheets they've they kept 10 clean sheets this season, this season. so, so I, I see, we 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 we, we Yeah, we talk about. Oh, sorry, uh, Pandit. We talk about open game when we a beautiful game we see uh, with Chennai City, right? And and in with with uh, with uh, Real Kashmir, we see a counter attack game, you know. Yeah. But what a philosophy this is also. They don't concede too many goals. Quick counter attack, come back and wait again, not to start. So two different kind, but what a lovely football those two teams have played. You know? But just just one very quick point I wanted to make, a small point, is that the Real Kashmir story extends way beyond the football field for me. I mean, the, the right oh, point yes. you guys have made on the football field. Think about the coach himself. Yeah, he is a Scottish coach, and he's in a part of the world yep. where a lot of them have been given advisories to not be there. वो बैठ के वहाँ पे कोचिंग कर रहे हैं. How many Kashmiri boys are in that team? A majority of the players have come from all over the country. and have made their base in kashmir shrinagar despite all that is happening yeah. and they've continued to perform yeah. for that team so one should not, not forget that not just coach kar raha hai but wo apne bete ko bhi le aaye khelne ke liye puri parivar aayi hui hai i mean that's a perfect yeah, you, 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 for the valley you, 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 yeah absolutely you need to have a big heart and big decision yeah. no, not at all big decision big heart and then every kashmiri should feel great that he is a coach you know I, i'm i'm a big fan of that coach a uh, six six time scottish premier league winner a yeah, legend i yeah, mean yeah. in glasgow and and stuff yeah. like that so i think in boxing there's a concept called lineal champion and kashmir have beaten chennai city twice this season both times they faced them so the yeah. kashmir story will continue so can... and we can only hope that we'll see them further on now let's wrap up this show yeah. there's bahut ho gaya i league khatam bhi ho gaya hai to ab hum bhi khatam karte hain everyone please one favorite best player जो भी ओनली इंडियन दो ओनली इंडियन दो आई स्टार्ट विद द कोच ऑन द पैनल फर्स्ट बिकॉज़ कोच यस प्लीज एब्सोल्युटली कैसे बोल सकते हैं बिल्कुल वन इज नॉट फेयर एक्चुअली या वन यू कांट बट देन देयर इज आई आई वुड कम अप विद टू वन स्ट्राइकर एंड वन डिफेंडर स्ट्राइकर जोवी जस्टिन हैज बीन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट प्लेयर आई फील एंड देन इन द डिफेंडर गौरव बोरा द गाय हु स्कोर टू गोल्स इन द इन द इन द डिसीजन मेकिंग मैच आई थिंक बोथ ऑफ देम Gaurav Bora and 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 uh, Justin Jovi Justin they both have done really really well. So we can toss a coin, whoever. In, so, so we can if you have to choose one. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you rather have at Neroka? <laughs> good question, yeah. Very good question. Uh, right now, uh, right now, uh, uh, Jovi uh, uh, Gaurav Bora. I like how you dithered even there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. And I know because my, Neroka has been conceding goals. Right? You see, yeah, that's yeah we we need one good defender. Yeah. Fair enough. Any. So Gaurav, in case you are watching this, <laughs> Sidan. <laughs> Not really going necessarily only on performance, but for uh, the fact that this guy has been someone who we've been watching now from the time he's been 50. He he was 15 years old, 
and mm-hmm. how he's consistently developed season after season whether it's with the na- in the national setup or with the club side i'd go with boris uh the arrows uh, wing back i think phenomenal te- technically really solid got good pace got great heart play mal 100% deta hai har game mein jahan bhi khelta hai jis level pe khelta hai 100% mm-hmm. deta hai as ability to get forward yeah. get back transition in offense i mean so for me he's this phenomenal talent and i hope i hope he does really really well good so that yeah. brings us to you yeah, so I, yeah i would i would go with boris as well and i'm going to add to a point with siddharth i agree with everything he's saying i feel boris is the standout winger that india has been looking for and for me if you put boris and udanta na I would put Boris ahead of Adanta just because Boris. What a flank! Yeah, man, he gives yeah. you everything in defense. He gives you people yeah. things going in front. You see the Mohan Bagan game you brought up. You saw that yeah. ability to just take on yes. players. This is something we don't see too often in Indian players, and the pace with which he breaks past players and then yeah. comes back to help his defenders out. When defenders are out of position, that is why for me Boris is the standout player to watch out for. But one more name, because we have not named him, Anwar Ali. Yeah. वो जो फ्री किक लेता है ना विच यू हिट फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द लेस जो थोड़ा डिप क्रिस्टियानो टाइप ड्रिप लाता है ही इज फाउंड सम कंसिस्टेंसी इन दैट एंड ही इज हिटिंग द टारगेट विद दैट सो दैट कुड बी अ सीरियस वेपन फॉर इंडिया गोइंग फॉरवर्ड जेंटल स्माइल फ्रॉम रेनेडी फॉर द फ्री किक आई नो बट द पंडित सेड यू नो इवन इवन सिद्धांत बोरिस इज अ गाय एज अ विंगर आई थिंक ही विल बी परफेक्ट जस्ट बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव एनीवन एट द बैक आई थिंक ही हैज बीन प्लेइंग एज अ विंग बैक but in like mohan bagan match we have seen how dangerous he can be with that speed he will be in one or two year as a winger we will have if he can continue working the same or play the same we in two years we can, we will be able to see the best winger if he if he work if he keep working and stay humble the problem is that if he can stay humble and work hmm. but then do you remember two years ago when we went to boris's house in uh, imphal yeah. west yeah you're right and right met his met his family there I yeah. think, given the roots and and where he comes from, I think yeah, humility is something that will come yeah. naturally to him, and I, I hope he'll be able to. You're very right there. I hope he'll be able to stay honest and stay real. So, yeah. uh, looking at the p- parents, you know, I I feel that he will stay humble. You know, Sir, with, sorry, with, with all this sorry, sorry social to, media sorry and stuff. Sorry to burst your bubble, but then a lot of other people are surrounding players nowadays, and so that humility yeah. and humbleness, uh, irrespective of what your background might be, I think it's a little tough. at this time and especially when you're jumping from say a 10 a 10 lakh to 60 lakh to 60 lakhs so yeah i mean and as happy as we are for players uh, that yeah. is the real challenge i think he points out perfectly right so there you go the midfielder has picked a defender and the wingers have picked wingers stay humble don't abuse us in the comments that's our show <laughs>